Hi everybody, Sean Holsinger here again from HolsingersFlyShop.com. Today I'm tying another one of my flies that I'm going to be using a lot here this spring. Um, it's a golden stone fly. I'm tying this on a size 10 2220 Daiichi streamer hook. Um, tying it big, I really like a big one. Uh, the stone flies in the stream that I fish are actually pretty good sized. Um, I'm using lead wire .015 and as you see there I'm only going to take and cover about the back the back I don't know half a little bit a little bit less than half a little more than a third and then I'm going to put on some brown thread I'm going to cover my lead up with the brown thread and as you see also um, I'm not going the whole way back to the bend here I want to leave room to put my biots and start start the body up here. This way of tying it here, some some guys like to braid them. Um, so everybody likes to do it a little bit different. This is a very simple pattern that works for me. Um, I can whip a bunch of these out in a short amount of time compared to taking them braiding and having to keep my tension tight and worrying about it. And it, it's not a pretty fly, but it's one that catches fish. Uh, you can see here I covered covered my lead up so it's not going to ride around. Now I'm going to come back here. I'm going to make a little ball right back here at the back, right at the bend of the hook. And what this little ball is going to do is going to make my bayet stand out just a little bit, make them separate, make a better looking tail. Okay. Now I'm going to take a, a really dark brown colored bayet, a goose bayet. I can pick it up. Okay, just a just a goose bite, and I'm gonna put it in there for the tail. Um, I don't know, about a third of the body length, maybe. Not real, real long tail. I don't want a real huge tail, but I'm gonna wrap one down on each side. And like I said, you know, I usually try to keep my videos simple for, you know, geared towards the beginner. And this is a great beginner style stone fly here. Um, I wrap these goose bites down here. It'll build a little bit of body, but not much. Not that anything's going to affect it any. Okay, my next thing I'm going to put on, you can see, there you can see with the tail, how I put that little ball in there. And it ended up splaying out the, splaying out the tail really, really nicely there. So the next thing I'm going to put on is I'm going to put on a black piece of a brassy sized black wire. And I like to attach my wire to the side. And I'm going to wrap it back right to the tail. Okay, now I'm going to put if you weave, you're going to weave a lighter color on the bottom and a darker color on the top. But I'm not going to to spend my time weaving you know I want to have a bunch of them that I can take so I'm just going to use some thin skin some brown colored thin skin so this will get my offset and color I'm going to use brown and I'm just going to uh, let me show you there I did take and cut a little little point in it so it wraps it down smaller and I'm going to wrap it where wrap it down on top And the thin skin will pull a little bit and get thinner, but you don't want to pull it too much. Okay, get that good and wrapped in there. And like I said, right back to the tail, right back to where your tail joins there. Okay, now the next thing I'm going to use is I put some embroidery thread, just yellow embroidery thread, and I put it on a bobbin. I, I, sometimes I do weave with it, and it's a lot easier to control when you're weaving if you put it on a bobbin so I have some that's on the bobbin so I'm just going to use this but like I said this is a simple stone fly so we're not going to weave it we're just going to tie this down here and the the lead is about the, you know the distance I put the lead is the section of this body so I'm just going to wrap this up tight. I don't need to spin this or anything. Actually, I don't want it really um, segmented looking. 
I just want it to be nice and smooth. That's an, a big reason why I like using the embroidery thread on this step here instead of maybe dubbing it. The embroidery thread, I can get this nice and smooth just like the body of the stonefly. Okay, I'm just going to wrap this little way up here and then I'm going to tie this off. I'm just going to get that tied off good there. Make a couple extra wraps. Okay, now next we're going to pour thin skin up over and tie it down and make sure we keep it on the top. Okay, we'll trim this big long piece off here, use that for our next one. Now we're going to come in with our ribbing. We're just going to Rip this up here. Here's where we're going to get our segments. We're going to keep making sure that we keep that thin skin on the top. Make sure it doesn't roll around on us. couple wraps down on our lead here Oops. and we'll just helicopter this off <laughs> it doesn't want to come today alright now we're just gonna make sure we get this all nice and neat here Okay, and there you can see I got a nice segment of body and I got my dark on top, light on the bottom. Just like as if I as if I weaved it, except a lot simpler and a lot quicker. I can do a lot more this way. Now the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a piece of turkey wing on. Okay, I'm just gonna cut a little section out of the turkey wing. About oh I don't know, eight, ten fibers at the at the very most, not even that many probably. Probably more like six or eight. So I can get about uh, about a quarter inch wide. You know, not real wide, just just barely wider than the body. And uh, I'm gonna put it down upside down. Like this is the top side of the feather, and this is the bottom side. The bottom side is a lot duller. Um, I'm gonna put the bottom side up. So whenever I pull it over, the top side will show through. I'm going to trim this off just a little bit. Okay, now we're going to set it on top. Okay, and the way we got to do this is we got to loose loop it and tighten it down. And this, by loose looping it and slowly tightening it down like that, will allow me to control where I'm putting it on top. Okay, now we're going to. Come back and trim this off a little bit. Okay, now we're going to use a Brahma feather. This one is a brown. Uh, um, we'll get you the right color here. One second. This is a golden straw color. It's a brown color, but the technical name from whiting is it's a soft tackle chickapoo skin that I got it off of and it's um, golden straw is the color and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna strip back the fluff okay just gonna peel the fluff off of this feather and then the length of the legs I want them to stick out over the edge I don't want them to be really really long so I'm gonna peel back some of the longer ones on here okay now I got about the length that I want. Now I want to take and get the number of legs that I want, which is about that many. You know, I want it to be the same, and, and I can trim this up here in a little bit too. You know, I want it to be the same amount as 
to my head from from here to my head so I'm gonna tie it down and I'm gonna tie it down upside down again just like the turkey and tie this into place okay now I'm gonna trim off this tag here so I'm gonna trim off the end of the feather make sure I got it wrapped down good and tight and and centered on the top centering it on the top is very important here okay now the next step I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add some dubbing here for my dubbing I'm using Hairtron uh, pale pale yellow dubbing okay and I'm just gonna dub some of this onto my brown thread I want to build up a little bit here, not a whole lot, but some. Um, the other great thing about this is this fly is a lot of the material you probably already have to tie it. And maybe not the thin skin. Now I'm gonna I use thin skin on some of my other nymphs too. Uh, my little black stone is a really good one I use the thin skin in not the old one I'll, I'll be doing a new little black stone video that I that I seem to like a lot better um, just keep building this up I want it about that thickness just slightly thicker than the back end of the body there and just try to get it nice and smooth and even as you see here and I want to leave some room up here at the head because I need to finish off my fly. Okay, you see I left about an eye length right here to tie this all off. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull my legs up. I'm going to pull them back. And then uh, I'm going to peel what legs I do not need to use forward so I don't tie extra legs down. Okay, then once I get the right amount, I just lay it down on top, and I'm going to pinch them down so they stay on top, and I'm going to tie it right in behind the extra legs there, so I don't trap any extra down. Make about four or five good loops, and trim this off, trim off my extra ones. Okay, you can see there how they lay okay now I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna pull my turkey down over top and when I pull this turkey over I'm gonna hold my legs back where I want them to be to get the turkey over the top so they all stay in place and once I get the turkey up there I'm gonna pinch it down do another soft loop straighten it up make sure it's on the top and then I'm just going to wrap my head up here at the top and cut my turkey cut my turkey off okay now what I need to do is come in and whip finish the head I usually like to put two wet finishes on. Okay, and the very last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take and I'm going to put some UV glue on the shell back here. I'm going to get the legs where I want them, pull them out, get them nice, nice looking. Okay, and then I'm going to take my UV fly finish thick. Okay, the thick, when you use the thick, it makes a nice shell back like. And I'm going to put a little bit on that turkey to protect that turkey to keep it from tearing up. You don't have to do this, you know, you don't have the UV glue, use head cement, that's fine. Um, I just like to build it up a little bit, make it a little bit more durable. 
you know, get a good sharp teeth on a nice brown trout or something, they're going to tear that, tear that turkey up on top. And then I'm just going to hit this with my light here, and I cover my fly up, and it'll black out my screen. Okay, and that's all that's to this very, there you can see the legs, how I can peel the legs out here and makes a nice leggy pattern on the stonefly get your you know your bicolored look on the back the nice by it split I showed you that technique very simple pattern like I said I'll tie this in tens and twelves uh, we have a very large golden stone here in our area where we fish um, beginning of season April early May uh, really really good nymph to go to I've even I even caught one this is March right now last week I caught one on the size 10 golden stone out of the stream I was fishing so very simple way to tie a golden stone a lot of guys kind of fear braiding and that kind of stuff this is a nice way to get around it and it's very easy and a very effective fly to tie hope you enjoyed watching this as always the material you use to f tie these flies you can find most, if not all, at our website, HolsingersFlyShop.com. Thanks again for watching. I'm Sean Holsinger. Mm -hmm.